oh my god long time no see <laughs> Today, I am recovering still from being sick. I'm in so much pain. But today I've decided, because I'm not gonna be doing any fun adventuring anytime soon, because I'm taking care of my body. I literally went out today with my dad because my dad's visiting and I got tired after two hours. I was like, I need to go lay down. <laughs> also, I'm looking here because this is my little list of what, you may ask? What is this list of? Well, the list is of my top 10 favorite things about studying in Edinburgh. On my list so far, I've eight. So I, I'll just think of the last two <laughs> as we go, I guess. Let's get started. Number one, flights. If I wanna go to Ireland or I have a ticket to uh, Germany, $20, $20. It is cheaper to take a flight to London than to take a train to London. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> like, if I lived here, I'd be like, weekend vacation at Amsterdam. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. I have a flight to Rome this winter, $33. My hotel, $11. I am so spoiled. <laughs> well, and the dollar is like one to one with the euro right now. So, I came in a good time for me. Not for them, but for me. Ooh. Number two favorite thing well okay this is also this is not in like a specific order <laughs> just random order number two is how people say cheers after everything i go to a restaurant and literally every time the server left us he'd be like cheers cheers like that's it like i just love that <laughs> number three is the people everybody here at least that i've met has been so friendly and so outgoing and like they've actually like go out of their way to talk to you and then they maintain that relationship it is the exact opposite experience of seattle <laughs> the seattle freeze does not exist here guys i have friends that was my biggest concern i was like what if i don't make any friends or what if everybody hates me they don't and i do have friends number four is that it is a gorgeous city absolutely stunning insert pictures here here i don't know if i can edit that <laughs> gorgeous city it's made of stone there's like cobbled roads the royal mile is super busy but super pretty just like even the ugly buildings are like 10 times prettier than any building in seattle i just want to faint every time i see a building which is quite often <laughs> number five is i have had so much amazing coffee here every cafe i've been to knows how to do latte art and so that j i just have the most stunning cups in my hand and i could not be happier and then along with my awesome coffee is a beautiful little scone most people i see will have a scone with jam and clotted cream on the downside though is nobody has sugar with their coffee and i feel weird getting a really sugary drink when nobody else drinks it <laughs> number six is simply the amazing fact that i feel safe here like i can just walk alone and i don't feel like i'm going to get threatened at any point in my walk which is a really nice change of pace from where i lived before <laughs> number seven so many museums i'm such a museum girly there's so many art museums lots of historical museums castles palaces like all here just in edinburgh but also like all over scotland <laughs> it's amazing and a lot of them are free like there's this national like scotland museum or national scottish museum and it's like six stories and it's giant and it's free like i just feel like that wouldn't happen in the u.s and if something does cost money they have really great student discounts like the student discount actually takes off a lot of money here compared to in seattle it would take off like three dollars and there was a student discount at this burrito place and i got a whole burrito just for one pound just you know student things <laughs> number nine is walkability oh my god like i can walk anywhere in this city if i really wanted to it's so easy also it was voted the most beautiful city in the world according to somebody i spoke to which I'm not gonna look it up and fact check it because I wanna believe that that's true. <laughs> but it's super walkable, and if you do need to get somewhere that you can't walk to, super good transit. There's a train station, there's lots of buses and trams that go places. You will never be stranded. 
Number 10 is the homework load. <laughs> like coming from University of Washington, where you have homework every day, assignments every day, tests every week, essays, you know, all the time, to here where I have two essays in the whole quarter and that is the only thing that I have to do. It is like vacation. It is really nice. I'm taking one psychology class and then two just like elective classes. So really like they're not that hard to begin with. But the fact that there's no busy work or anything like that and the only homework is to read, which <laughs> I do my homework. The only homework is to read and then the only thing you're graded on is your two essays, which to be fair, they are 2000 words, but I just finished, finished, they're basically done. Two of my midterm essays, a blast, it was fine. <laughs> homework load is like, you have to have a bit more discipline though like i mean if you do want to do the work <laughs> if you do want to read you do have to have more discipline but those were my top 10 favorite things about living in edinburgh as a student guys i'm loving my experience i am sick so spent the last few days just stuck in my room because i've been sick and in pain next weekend is halloween i hope everybody has a great halloween i'll see you later